you've downloaded your file so we are going to start with your um, file and we're going to extract it so you have to unzip it and make sure that this is checkmarked so that you can see where your files are and then hit extract once that's done it will pop open a new window and in that new window you'll see your extracted file so let's double click that and here are the four files that you'll get um, and this bottom one is the SVG document that's the one that we'll be working with so make note of where this is located once we figure out where it's located then we're going to open up make the cut now that make the cut is open remember we're working with an SVG file so click SVG up here in the top bar and then we'll go to where the file is we remembered it's in the downloads folder here it is let's open it up and click on the SVG file and you can see over here what it looks like so let's hit open and once that pops up you'll see that it's broken up into three parts one is the entire design all together and you see it's all these little dots on the paper and you can check the size of the dots to make sure that it's you know the size of the stone that you're using 0.13 is for SS10 um, but we don't need this one um, that's the whole design in one big square because we want the two different colors so we're going to delete the dots first because you can see them all on the same screen then we'll select the square and delete that one so let's move over to the files we'll be working with these are uh, two different templates the top one is going to be one color the bottom one is going to be a different color and we want to uh, make this instead of a square with dots on it we want to make it one page with holes so select the whole thing and then down here we'll click um, join and we'll do the same with the bottom one select uh, all of the bottom one so drag a square around the green square and all of the dots and then click join down in the bottom so now that you've done that you have the piece of paper with holes and it makes it easier to uh, use in Cricut so um, you basically want to click on one then click on hold down your shift key and make the cut and then click on the second one and it will select both of them so hold down shift click both that'll select them both now take a note of what your size of both files are both designs you have to write that down so now we want to export it file export and we're going to send it out as an SVG that's what Cricut uses is an SVG file now I select the original file and just add Cricut to the end that way I know that this is the Cricut version that I'm going to be using and then we'll just hit save ignore the rest of it just hit save and it will let you know that it successfully saved as an SVG file okay so now that that's done um, again make sure click the first one hold down shift click the second and make a note of the entire design look up here and make sure you write down your width so we'll go into Cricut once you open up Cricut click new project then click upload then upload image now browse to the folder that we unzipped because what we did was we saved that file in the folder that we unzipped so don't click there see the original file is down here the original SVG but we want the one that says Cricut because that's the one that we edited so click that one hit open and once that opens up then we want to confirm that that's the right thing and hit save since we see that it's the right thing so we'll hit save and now we want to select that 
and now insert it onto the canvas. So once it pops up, look at the size up at the top. This size is wrong. It's not the same size as what we wrote down and make the cut. So highlight the width or clear that out and then type in the size that make the cut had that design at. And leave your lock pad lock lock. Don't change that and hit enter and it will go to the correct size. So now that it's the right size as it was in make the cut, now you're ready to actually cut this out. You don't have to do anything else. Just hit make it. So once you hit make it, then it will pop up on the print canvas. Make note of what size you're supposed to cut your rhinestone paper or rhinestone template or rhinestone flock, whatever you're using. This will be roughly 10 by 10. And then you want to connect your machine, which I don't have one connected right now, so it's not going to go to the machine. But that's all you have to do to convert this file um, to one that you can use in Cricut. And you also can ungroup it um, and select just one uh, at a time to work with. But that's a later video. But for right now, this is all you need to do to uh, make a rhinestone template in Cricut.